Hey everybody, did it really here? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Bar Commons. This is going to be our first video with Natsuiko, trying to get him and Mikoto together. Yeah, I got nothing to say because we're just starting it out. So you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Well, of course I'm going to be forwarding through the stuff we've already read. Okay, finally, here we are at the choice. Um, yeah, for Natsuika, we actually choose no partner. We choose to investigate alone. <laughs> which means Sakuya and Itsuki have to be partners, which really sucks for them. <laughs> but here we go. I choose you, Natsuiko. Look at that. Aha, uh -huh. so you ended up as the odd man out. Would you not put it in such a crass manner? Please, I did not get stuck... I chose to operate by myself. To better search for the infiltrator? Precisely. On a side note, what on earth are you doing here? What does it matter to you? Well, it is her room, apparently. Now you listen here! Oh, can I have some of those cookies? It was evening, several days after the attack. Determined to capture the infiltrator as quickly as possible, I had sequestered myself in my room in hopes of devising an effective strategy. Hmm, these cookies are really good. If it is not rude of me to ask, how long do you plan on staying here? Until I finished all these cookies. What? The investigation would be a dangerous one. There was no telling what other frightening and vicious weapons the traitor had at his disposal. If I remained alone, I wouldn't have to worry about a partner getting caught in the crossfire. Should the worst happen, I had my barriers. As long as I was the only one I had to worry about protecting, everything would be fine. That's why I chose not to have a partner. So why is this boy here, and wearing out his welcome so quickly, I should add? I wonder who made them. Was it the Hyokos? Wait, cookies have eggs in them, right? If the Hyokos made them, does that mean they killed their own to do it? Oh god! You are not seriously intending to eat all of these by yourself. What about my share? Oh, I'll eat those too. I'll take the hit so that you aren't tempted to eat too many of these high-calorie cookies and get fat. So that I do not- What? That is none of your concern, thank you very much. My hand, which was reaching out for a cookie, quickly pulled back, almost of its own volition. Perhaps bringing an entire plate of them was a bit much. So, we have an infiltrator, eh? I wasn't at the meeting, so I'm not clear on all the details. Are you sure one of that guy's friends is here with us on the ship? Sharing a roof with a potential violent criminal is above the amount of daily psychological stress I care to be under, you know? You will not have to worry about that. I will discover who he is and capture him shortly. Do you have any suspects? At the time of the incident, we were all split into our various teams. You mean the three groups everyone was broken into for chores and stuff, right? If this was a mystery novel, this would be the part where the detective would go and root out whoever doesn't have a plausible alibi. As I just mentioned, at the time, everybody was together with someone else. Well, Senri was locked away in his room alone, as always. That we know is true. Everyone on Nanami's team was in the same location together. That leaves... In other words, no one was off by themselves at the moment the attack went off. That suggests either powers that can be used remotely, or another of those unknown devices that even had Mikoto on the ropes. Nobody noticed anybody on their team doing anything suspicious at the time, right? Nah, I don't think there was anybody doing anything weird. But given the circumstances, none of us were paying close attention to anyone else. True. Man, this would be a whole lot simpler if somebody had been off on their own at the time. No. There was somebody. Huh? Kuga, I saw you running off up the stairs alone. Are you implying that I am the traitor? Not really, just telling everybody what I saw. Whoa, whoa, Missa went upstairs so she could put up a barrier to stop those attacks. And if we could declare anybody innocent right now, it's her. If Kuga was one of the bad guys, this ship wouldn't even be here anymore. Without her barriers, a whole lot more than just one wall would have gotten wrecked. Excuse me, can people stop acting like I am a suspect, please? Mikoto, just for the record, why did you run up to the roof? 
Can't you put up your barriers while staying inside? It is not impossible for me to put up a barrier on something I cannot see. But in order to be certain that I stop an attack, it is best if I can actually see the attack. Oh. Uh. Still, given the situation, it's highly likely that anybody who was operating alone at the time of the explosion is our traitor. So, now you are trying to imply that I am the traitor. Long distance powers or some device, our traitor should need to do something to set it off. It'd probably be hard to hide with someone standing next to them and watching. But if they were off on their own... Ah, uh, but she was not alone at the time. Huh? She wasn't? What the heck are you talking about? I saw her go running off by herself. Yes, she did separate from the rest of us on our team, but we did not allow her to go up to the roof on her own. Oh, right. Now I remember. The kiddo. He went up after her. Correct. Sorato was with her. I guess he was simply too short for you to notice him at the time. <laughs> More short jokes. He may only be a child, but I think it's safe to say that he is the least likely suspect. If you still have doubts, ask him what happened. Asakuya. Did he foresee that I would be suspected like this, and that was his reason for sending the boy to my side? Oh, that makes a lot more sense, because I thought it was really weird that he would send a kid up with her. But he couldn't go himself, because he could have been killed, I guess. I don't know. Was Sakuya the one who told you to come up here with me? Huh? Uh, well... Well, I guess Sakuya would have known she wasn't going to get killed at that time, so it would be safe to send him after her. I thought so. He asked me not to mention it, because he said you don't like people trying to come help you when you didn't ask. You know, is it me, or does everyone here not really get along with each other? Everyone seems much happier doing their own thing. True, and there is not really any use in fixing that. Once we reach our destination, everyone will be sent off to different nations. Depending on the political situation, it is possible we could even end up as enemies. Oh, right. You are supposed to be emissaries. I haven't learned much about your job yet, but it sounds like a lot of work for someone so young. Having a child refer to me as young does not feel like a compliment in the least. Having the other suspect me at every turn would be a hassle, it is probably best that I accept Sakuya's gesture. All right, I will allow you to be here for now. However, I will thank you to stay out from underfoot. Okay. Frankly, he is enjoying those cookies to an irritating degree. I don't think a single cookie or two will make you gain that much weight. I... I wasn't taking them because I was craving them. I... I was just thinking that a little sugar would sharpen my thought process is all. Uh-huh. That was like that, and his hair was... hmm... This long? No, I think it was a bit longer than that. This is about what his eyes were like. He was tall and on the lanky side. I want to say he wore a white European-style coat. Whoa! I should fill out this part and... There, finished. What is a really horrible drawing? Enough to disturb Sorata? What's finished? You just been drawing what looks to be the same picture over and over again. It's a portrait of the man who attacked us. Don't you recognize him? A portrait? Right. Including our last encounter, that barbarian and I have faced off twice. Sorato was there the second time, but the other espers were not. Nobody but the two of us have seen him, or the devices he uses, supposedly. And that just may be my best way of discovering some clues. If I show this portrait to everyone, the traitor may unconsciously react to it in some fashion. It might render them speechless, yes. There is also the possibility that someone has seen that barbarian somewhere else. True. Why are you answering me like that? It's nothing. You're probably scary when you're mad. I see. Anyway, this portrait will likely be my key to finding some kind of clue. Hmm. This thing is such a good likeness that looking at it is starting to annoy me. What? You think you will be able to capture me using your pathetic little scribbles? <laughs> huh. Foolish woman. You are nothing but a walking disaster. 
<sighs> Just the thought of him is enough to anger me. I will make him regret calling me, me, a walking disaster. Come with me, kid. It is time to go interrogate everyone. Now then, who shall I ask first? Maybe I will just ask them as I run into them. Hey, uh, you were raised a wealthy girl, right? I thought rich kids were supposed to, I don't know, be classy and graceful people who learned all kinds of sophisticated things? I was. Why would you think I was raised any other way? My skills in both flower arrangement and tea ceremonies are rated above average, though Sakuya outclasses me in both. What about art? Why do you even need to ask after looking at this? It is a perfect likeness of that barbarian. Uh, I don't even know if I'd call that a passable likeness of a human, really. Aha, over there. I see... Yep, just the perfect person to ask. Ron, a moment, please. There is something I would like to show you. Hmm. Huh. And you are... Wait a sec. There's a kid on this ship now? Since when? I've been here for over a week. Really? Huh. Yes, really. This is the fifth time we've had this exact same conversation. Forget about it, Sorata. This lazy lout does not make the slightest effort to remember names. <laughs> Ugh. I've never met an adult who frustrated me this much before. Anyway, have you seen this person before? <laughs> I knew it would be bad. Mm, what's this? The man who attacked our ship. Really, no. This is the man who... <laughs> well, this is... Uh... <laughs> well, why are you laughing? I think that's the normal response, actually. <laughs> oh, this is a riot. Say, you mind if I keep this? <laughs> He's going to show it to Natsuko. <laughs> Say, so, you mind if I keep this? Why would I bother giving this portrait to someone who laughed at it? Uh, if you give it to me, I'll go looking for the traitor. Promise. What? He's offering to help me search for the traitor. Uh, let's see. I should... Give it to him. Alright, if you really want it. Oh, but this was the best in the bunch I drew, so take this one. Do not lose it. That one's the best? How can you tell? Aha! Uh -huh. Mikoto, there you are! I've been looking for you! It's almost bath time! Will you be joining me and Nanami? Yeah, it's bath time. Alright, oh then. Thanks for this, uh... Hanako, was it? It's Mikoto! Oh, I'm sorry! Did I interrupt your conversation with Mr. Ron? No, no. We were just finishing up. You two can go ahead. Do not wait up for me. Is something the matter? Is there anything I could do? I'd be happy to help. I should be able to handle it. Oh, there is one thing I would like to ask both of you. <laughs> um... Have either of you ever seen this person? Uh, um, um... Nanami! Er, I, I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever seen anything... Uh, I mean, anyone like that. Oh, Nanami... You've seen him? Someone told me once that if you apply heat or light to what looks like nonsense drawings, you can make a secret message appear. Hold on, I have a lighter right here. Let's set those scribbles on fire and see what happens. <laughs> Mikoto's face. <laughs> Nanami, no! You can't light any fires here! It's too dangerous! We don't even have a fire extinguisher to put it out either! Uh, hey! This is a finished portrait! There is nothing more to uncover here! <sighs> Phew! That was close! Uh, so how long do you intend to keep trying this? Until I have finished. It would be pointless if we did not ask everyone the same question. Really? Eesh. Have you ever seen this person? Huh? What's this? Sorata's doodles? Hey, I'm not that bad at drawing. Uh, who drew this? Whoever did is either insane or is in dire need of art lessons. Huh? 
Oh, uh, let me think for a sec. Whoa, that's so bad, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> he just leaked that. I can hear you. That's very well drawn, I must say. Right, but it seems no one else around here can tell what a work of art it is. Oh, so it's all Saku's fault that misses this terrible at art. <laughs> because she, because he encourages her. <laughs> he enables her. If you ask me, he's just as bad as you when it comes to buttering up women. Uh, no. I would never go this far. Anyway, Asakuya, have you seen this person? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that man. What? That's supposed to be a guy? Oh, uh, so that's a person. Hmm, right. Yeah, I would kind of expect that from a guy who is Mikoto's childhood friend. Oh, don't you think that's enough? No one has ever seen that guy. Jurat, I thought the portrait was a good idea, but it seems like nobody has seen that man. Well, they wouldn't be able to tell from that sketch. Come to me, girl. I will show you how to make proper use of your powers. You dare make that offer, even after you have attacked us. My answer is a resounding no. I am not nearly so uncouth as to readily agree to a partnership with a barbarian like you. Invitation. If that's the way it sounded, allow me to clear up that misconception. This is no offer. It is an ultimatum. Join me, or I will destroy this ship. My barriers can deflect the attacks of that barbarian's strange devices. But they can do nothing to defeat him. What's wrong? You zoned out for a minute. Look, it's unfortunate that... Drawing didn't uncover any clues, but there are still other investigative methods you can try. True. What's up with you two? Any particular reason you're both standing around on the stairs? Oh, right. There's Masamune, too. I'd utterly forgotten. I have no idea what's going on, but that seems a bit harsh. That <laughs> they totally forgot about him. Come on, show him the picture. Masamune, have you seen this person anywhere? Uh, did you draw the Sorata? No, Mikoto did. Uh, stop making me repeat myself. I've only heard you say it once. We've shown this to everyone on the ship. <laughs> Poor Sorata. Really? That's amazing. I've never been good at drawing either, but I certainly didn't have the courage to go around showing my work to other people. If you're going to insult my skill, you could at least be more upfront about it. N no, uh, that was meant to be a compliment. Ugh, I know he means well, but that just irritates me all the more. Besides, I can't help it. No matter how I practiced, I never got any better at drawing. I know that it's terrible, but I couldn't think of any other ideas. What else was I supposed to do? She actually knew it was terrible and she kept showing it. What's that? Oh, the weird stick thing on his side? It's supposed to be a gun. A gun? It was slight, but Masamune's eyes widened. For a moment, it looked to me as if he was shocked. He definitely recognized something. What do you know about guns? Uh, no. I thought I'd heard something about them, that's all. You have? Where? Uh, sorry. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. I was thinking about something else entirely. Oh. The shocked expression lasted only a second. Perhaps I just imagined it. How do you two know about that thing? Why do you call it a gun? They're all over the place in the era I'm from. I'd only ever seen them on TV, though. What is a TV? Huh? You have one in your room. It's that big black oblong box. That is called a TV. Yes! Sheesh! What's something like that doing back in the Taisho era anyway? Sorry, I don't know anything about guns or about that man either. It was the answer I expected. I had heard it too many times to be disappointed anymore, so I simply nodded. I see. Thank you. There was something odd about that. About his reaction to the gun? Yes, he did react somewhat unnaturally. No, why didn't he say anything about the picture? Hmm? 
No matter how you look at it, the drawing should have had the bigger, more immediate impact. What do you mean by that? Everyone else only ever commented on the monster thing you say is a person. <laughs> it's the biggest part of the drawing, after all. Nobody else even noticed that tiny, poorly drawn gun. And now that he mentions it, that is suspicious. Oh god, could Masamune be the traitor? I rejected the idea as fast as I thought of it. Masamune was our contact point with the world. In other words, of all of us espers, he had the greatest trust of the world. The world does not make mistakes, therefore Masamune could not be the traitor. Yet, I cannot shake the feeling that I am overlooking something. Something important. I did nothing beyond the interrogations that day. All my effort resulted in no progress. It was unfortunate, but I did not have the time to wallow in disappointment. That barbarian could attack the ship again at any time. If I was not ready to protect us when he did, his devices could hurt anyone here. Your power is a gift from the gods. Use it for the sake of your country and your people. I know, Grandfather. I will not lose sight of my duty. I swear, I will protect everyone. The next day, the ship landed near a town so we could restock some needed everyday items. I decided to suspend my search for the traitor for the day, and instead focus on trying to discover clues about the barbarian. He spoke Japanese fluently, and seemed to be of Japanese origin, but his outfit was of a western design I haven't seen before. If he is Japanese, Japan may be the only place I will find cl clues about him. I must hurry. What? Are you going to follow me again today? I'm not doing this because I have nothing better to do, you know. Then maybe you should just run off and do whatever it is you deem better. So, are you going to go around showing off that doodle to everyone on board again? There'd be no point in that. Unfortunately, no. Today we are landing in town to resupply the ship. I intend to take my search outside into town. What, really? You're going to show that art crime around to random townsfolk? Yes! Oh my god, really? Mikoto, will you be going out today? Sakuya? Do you mean to go by yourself? No, Sorata will be accompanying me. He is being quite faithful to a request made of him by a certain someone. Don't do anything dangerous now. Sorata, please take good care of her, okay? Uh, I will. Why are you asking a child to look after me? That is rather insulting. Aha, uh -huh, we have arrived. Come on now. What is the matter? Do you not want to come along? No, I want to go. Really, it's just... He doesn't want people asking him if it was his drawing more. <laughs> Nanami and her team were in charge of buying the supplies, if I remember correctly. There isn't much time. I have to hurry. What are you two doing? We were going into town. Not Sorata. He can't go. I figured he'd say that. Why not? He's totally lost, remember? He has no idea where he is right now. If something happens and you two end up getting split up. That will not happen if he is with me. I'm not taking that chance. We're not taking any unnecessary risks until we reach our destination. Masamune spoke firmly and decisively, leaving no room for any counter-arguments. What he said was totally understandable, but I personally thought he was being too paranoid. Okay, okay, I'll stay. I don't want to cause you guys any unnecessary trouble either. It's not that you'd be a bother, I'm just worried is all. Goodness, Masamune is such a worrywart. He is strangely similar to Sakuya in that regard. He doesn't look terribly happy. Come on, what are you standing around gawking for? We should get going. Huh? What are you talking about? We can't. Masamune will get mad at me. And if Sakuya learns that I went into town by myself, he would have some choice of words for me too. So, just because you're okay with getting yelled at, means I have to be okay with it too? I dislike lies. I said that I would take you with me, so I am going to take you with me. So, you're going to make me into a liar then, huh? I told Masamune I wouldn't go. The one thing I dislike more than lying to others is lying to yourself. You want to go outside, correct? Yeah, I haven't been able to leave this ship since I got here. I want to go out. He pretends to be the wise and understanding one, but at heart he is still a child. 
Goodness, we landed in the countryside. I was hoping for someplace a little more affluent. Okay, and right there I'm going to end this video. We'll pick up Natsuiko's trail in the next story. So I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.